Hi guys, welcome back to this series on SQL. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to sort the results of our query. So in the previous video, if you remember, we ran this very basic query where we just retrieve some data from a table. In this case, we use the wildcard asterisk to select all the fields from the table products. So we learned select and from, we learned that we have to end our statement in a semicolon, uh, etc. Okay. Um, so in this, actually, let's look at those results once again uh, from the previous video. What if I wanted to save the results of this work for a, kind of a future uh, access so I don't have to run it again? Um, if I go to close my query, it, uh, access will actually ask me if I want to save the results. So there you can actually say, okay, yeah, save it. And you could name it whatever you like, be a little descriptive. Uh, and once you do, I'll leave this name, click OK, and you'll see that it may or may not show up under the tables in a section called queries. So you have a section called tables and a section called queries. Those are arguably the two most fundamental kind of objects in a, in a database. Um, so if you're not seeing queries, go over to this little drop down arrow and see what you have selected. If you have tables selected, you won't see queries. You can select queries and just see queries. Uh, or you what I had was uh, all access objects. So actually I'll see tables, queries, forms, and other kind of things that Excel can do. For us, tables and queries are gonna be really what we're, we're into and interested in. Okay, all right, now with no further ado, let's jump into the kind of uh, topic of this tutorial, which was to sort our query. So let's create a new query. Let's start from scratch. Uh, we know how to do this by now. We go to SQL view. Font size should be big enough for you guys to see now. Uh, so let's say I want to select, let's think of a good example. Let's go to products and let's say I want to, let's say, prom, I want to select all the columns and products, but I want to sort them based on the price of the product. Let's do that. Okay. So, uh, I know how to get all the columns. Um, if I wanted a specific ones, I would have to type them out separated by commas. So let's do that. And I want these fields from where? From the table products. And now the new uh, kind of clause of the day is the order by. So order by. I'm going to order my uh, the results of this query by a particular field or maybe multiple fields. So let's start with one product price okay if I don't specify anything further by default it'll sort ascendingly so let's see the results hopefully I spelled that correctly yes I did. product price so if you look at the results it's the same exact rows except they're ordered differently they're sorted based on the price of the product and it's sorted ascendingly so if I go back to the SQL view I can make that explicit with ASC. Okay, same exact results. Okay, if you don't put that by default, you'll get an ascending order. If I want descending order, DSC. Run that and you'll see the results here are descending order. Okay, great. Um, let's take a look at this for a second. Um, I don't have any ties. Uh, Let's go back though. Let's, I want to create a situation where maybe you'd want a second field to sort on. So actually, let's now sort based on the, let me see, the name of the product. You see I have a couple products that have this na the same name, jacket. Uh, yeah, and maybe some other repeats, but jacket definitely repeats. So maybe the names were not so well selected. So product name. Let's run this. Uh, so we are sorting ascendingly based on the name of the product. So Boots is clearly before Goggles, clearly before Sunshades, right? So we're not sorting on price anymore. Now you see I have jackets showing up twice, okay? 
in a situation where you sorting and you have the same result, like jacket showing up twice, you may want to have further control on how that gets uh, those two records in this case get sorted within jackets. So maybe you could say uh, sort based on the price of the product and then you can choose maybe ascending or descending. Let's choose ascending. So let's go back to SQL and say uh, let's make that kind of explicit. So that doesn't change anything. But now if there's ever a case where there's a tie or um, two rows that have the same exact value, use product price, let's say, in an ascending way, or I could say descending if I like, to sort within those ties. So let's run this and see the results. So first, my primary sorting is done on product name. So that didn't change. But in this case, I did have a case where there was a tie jacket. So the tie then looks, so we, we told, using SQL, we said now look at product price and sort within that tie ascendingly based on the price of the product. So the $78 jacket shows up first and the 165 shows up second. I can also have chosen descending here and that would actually cause the $165 jacket to show up before the $178. So I can control the results of uh, the query by using the order ascending, descending, and also combining um, in any which way that I kind of want to see the results. All right. So uh, hope hope this was helpful. Um, sorting can be extremely useful when you have a lot of data and you need to find things uh, in your queries. Once again, if you actually want to save the results of your query, you know you can just close out a particular query and save it, and then it'll be added to the list of queries here. We'll leave this one as is. Um, so. Until next time, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and share, and continue watching this series on SQL as we ramp up and learn more and more about SQL and databases.